I let voicemail pick up. The sound of Mom's voice always reminds me that there are very good reasons why I am living the party girl life here and not living the non party girl life over there. Four reasons to leave England in ascending order of importance. Number one Mom. Migraine prone. Migraines caused by such terrifying prospects as driving into multi story car park at Heathrow Airport. Taking a holiday abroad because she might have to drive into multi story car park to get plane because planes leave from airports, which generally include multi story car parks. Remembering she's an American. Sending a fax. Sending a postcard. Thinking about the idea of learning how to send an email. Living at our house in rural Northamptonshire. Living in London. In other words, everything. The result is that Mom, who always calls herself Mummy because it's more British, is obsessed with controlling her only daughter's life. A professional mom and a stunningly unembarrassed snob, she's fixated on the British aristocracy, their interior decorating style, and the brand of Wellington boots they wear Le Chameau, leather lined. Her ambition was to marry me off to someone British and aristocratic. A career wasn't part of her plan, but it was part of mine. The ideal candidate was the boy next door, the son of the local peer, the Earl of Swire. Julie could never understand why I hated Mom's idea so much. She always says she'd do anything to marry a guy with an English castle, but then she has no idea how damp they get in winter. Our house sits on the border of the 25,000 acre estate of Swire Castle. Next door for the English upper classes means a 20 minute drive.